our message this hour is entitled How to End Breakfast and Dinner Scandals in Nairobi. How to End Breakfast and Dinner Scandals right here in Nairobi, and especially Karengata, where we are. If there is an area or a place where breakfast scandals exist with big magnitudes, it is in the area called Karengata here in Nairobi. So please follow very closely. Matthew chapter 21 reading 18 and 19 the Bible record says Matthew 21 verses 18 and 19 Early in the morning, as he was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Early in the morning, now this is talking about Christ, way back yonder, once upon a time, when he was going into Jerusalem very early in the morning, the Bible record says he was hungry. He was hungry. Very early in the morning, on his way to Jerusalem, he was feeling hungry. Now, I have no problems when I hear that you are feeling hungry, uh, much as I can get concerned, when you tell me that you are feeling hungry, I may not worry so much as to when I hear that my Savior is feeling hungry. Once upon a time, the Lord is going into the city of Jerusalem early in the morning, and he is feeling hungry. The first part of verse 18. And the verse continues, seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, May you never bear fruit again. Immediately, the tree withered. Alas, hey ho, and hey ho, alas. Early in the morning, the Savior feels hungry. And he needs breakfast. He's feeling hungry, and all he needs is breakfast. I've already told you that if you tell me you're hungry, my, my worry is not so much. My worry is not so much. Then when I hear that my Savior is feeling hungry, Then the Bible record says he sees a fig tree by the roadside. And that was the time when figs were supposed to produce fruit. He sees a fig tree by the road. And because he was feeling hungry, he leaves the road. 
moves towards the fig tree, expecting to find breakfast. When, when he reaches where the fig tree is, behold, breakfast is not ready. The tree is still fast asleep. And it fails to provide breakfast to the God of the universe. The tree looked very green. A clear indication that it was eating well. Every day, getting nutrients from the ground. And that's why the leaves were green. Very, very promising. And the Lord sees it. And immediately after seeing it, he leaves the road. And he approaches the fig tree, expecting to find breakfast. Lo, and behold, breakfast was not ready. What a scandal. What a scandal of no little magnitude for the fig tree to fail to make a provision of breakfast to the king of the universe. Then the Lord says, I, I, I can't believe this because, because it looks green. I was expecting breakfast this time around. The tree was fundamentally selfish, looking green, eating alone, and failed to make a provision for breakfast for the king of the universe and the Bible record says when, when the Lord said let no one eat from you again the tree withered the tree died on the spot died on the spot now let me tell you Karengata I, I have problems I have problems when I hear that somebody has died on the spot. I have serious problems with it. When, when you come to me rushing and then you say, Pastor, my, my husband has died on the spot. I have serious problems with it. Dying on the spot. But if you come to me rushing and then you tell me, Pastor, my, 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 my wife is sick. My wife is sick and she is in the hospital. You come to me rushing and you tell me my wife is sick and she is in the hospital. Do you know how I will exclaim in my heart? My first reaction in my heart when you tell me that your wife is sick my first reaction in my heart is, Amen. Amen. That would be my first reaction. When you tell me that your child is sick, I know you come worrying. I know you are coming because you need prayers. You, you won't get my reaction on the face as though I am saying, Amen. You would say as if, as, if, as if I am concerned so much. You see that I'm concerned. But in my heart, I'll be saying, Amen, Hosanna in the highest. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, when, when you become sick and you even get admitted in the hospital and then you die, and you miss the coming kingdom of heaven. You have no one to blame but yourself. Because sickness is a signal that it's either you recover or die. And God is giving you a privilege, an opportunity to make amends. 
Sickness is a sign and signal for everyone to make amends. Why? Two possible outcomes. It's either you may recover or you may die. You may either get discharged or you may die. And that gives you a time and an opportunity to make amends, to pray and to confess. But if you die on the spot, I am told you have died on the spot. I, I have a lot of worries. I have a lot of concerns. Was that person in the right mood with the Lord at the time of dying on the spot? Every time you are sick, thank God. Declare Hosanna in the highest. Thank him. Kneel down. Thank you, Lord, that today I am very, very sick. Thank him for your sickness. Don't start gnashing teeth and gums. Why am I sick? Thank him for your sickness because that is a signal that you can die anytime. Make amends. And so the fig tree died on the spot. In the presence of the Savior that owns grace. Why? It failed to provide breakfast. When the Lord was giving it a privilege and an opportunity to eat with the Lord, it failed pint of pure nut, she poured it on Jesus' feet. Now this is way back yonder. There was a time when Lazarus was sick and according to John chapter 11 and verse 3, the sisters sent word to Christ. And according to verse 3 of John chapter 11, the message that came to Christ was, Lord, the one whom you love is sick. Can you please come? The one whom you love is sick. Can you please come and attend to him? John 11, verse 3. Lazarus was sick. And I love the way the message was put, the one whom you love, the one whom you love is sick. Mama Mwencha, Mama Mwencha, are you aware that, that, that you can be sick while Jesus loves you? Lord, the one whom you love is sick. I wanted to know in a very special way this morning or this known time that even those whom God loves get sick. They get sick. Thank God for sickness whenever it comes. As if this is not enough, you need to be aware that apart from being sick, those whom God loves even go to an extent of dying. God loves you, you get sick. God loves you, you die. You even get buried. Those whom God loves, they still get sick. Mark it. But when God loves you and you are sick and then you die, that is not the end of the story. Wait for the ultimate drama of the resurrection. And so the Lord arrives four days later and finds Lazarus in the grave. Gets there and he is resurrected. He begins to live one more time with Martha and Mary. One more time. Morning comes, 
They prepare breakfast. Lazarus is around. And they watch him eating one more time in disbelief. Is it true that this is our brother Lazarus? They watch him eating breakfast. They watch him eating dinner. They watch him eating supper. They watch him going to church. They watch him singing. And they're saying, is this true that Lazarus, one more time, is living with us? What a testimony of God's grace. Martha says, Mary says, they touch him, they touch him. Hi, Lazi. Hi, how are you, Lazi? Hi, are you the one? Lazi, are you the one? I am. C can, can you sing, can you sing your favorite song that you used to sing? They want, they want to be sure this is Lazarus. Can you please sing your favorite song? Can we hear you sing? Then he goes singing. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share, and they watch. This is Lazarus. Every day, they are living with a clear sign and token and mark of God's grace in the family. Then, 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 then Martha says, there is no way, there is no way, there is no way, there is no way we can continue to live with this sign and token of God's provision in our family without organizing a special dinner. John chapter 12. Mary, Mary, let's organize the dinner. Just in Jesus' honor. I think it's high time we stopped eating alone. Can I hear somebody say amen? Ah, 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 ah. Mary, it is high time we stopped eating alone. Why can't we prepare a very special meal so that we invite him? We invite the Savior. We invite him to come and eat with us. And, and, and let him know that we, we simply want to appreciate the fact that one more time we are living with our brother Lazarus. They, they began to prepare the dinner. They began to prepare the dinner. They began to prepare the dinner. And they began to prepare the dinner because they wanted to make sure that they stop living with dinner scandals eating alone without Jesus in the picture. The invitation went. The Lord looks at it. Sir, we are inviting you to come to our home on Wednesday. Please come. This is uh, a special invitation. Please, can you come for dinner on Wednesday? The Lord receives the invitation for dinner. Why? Martha and Mary have decided enough is enough. We cannot continue to be eating alone without God in the budget. They were wondering whether Christ was going to come. Wednesday came. Wednesday came. Eh, 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 eh. The Savior arrives in good time. When January comes, you eat the tithes. Now listen, some of us here. When January comes, you eat the tithes. February comes, you eat the offerings. March comes, you eat the tithes. April comes, you are eating the offerings. May comes, you are eating the tithe. June comes, you are eating the offering. Right now in August, and already we have people here that are planning to make sure that when they get their pay, they eat the tithe. You die on the spot. You will die on the spot. 
God is the owner of economics. It is him that says, six days you shall labor and do all your work. And whenever you get your pay, whenever you get your check, whenever you get your income, whenever you get your increase, God is saying you look so green and, and is expecting that there shall be no breakfast scandals, no dinner scandals. In your life, you'll be eating with the God of the universe. I'll turn to pieces unless you repent. We worship a God who wants to eat with us. Because in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, it says here, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Are you aware that God wants to eat with you? From January to December, the Lord wants to eat with you so that you can eat with him. And that's the only way you can climb. Jesus said, come and have breakfast. John 21 verse 12. Now listen, the Lord is making a call. The disciples were on the waters. The Lord comes on the shore and then he says, come, let us have breakfast. Now this one was prepared by the Lord. The one in John 21 and verse 12 is God who prepared it. Do you know that I worship a God who knows how to cook? I worship a God who knows how to cook. And when he finished the preparation of the meal, then, then he makes a call. Come, let us have breakfast. When the Lord calls that you eat with him, and you fail to respond. Alas, hey ho, and hey ho, alas. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. I'm worried. We are, and I'm afraid. Climbing. Somebody will die on Jacob. the spot. Somebody who die on the spot in the presence of the Savior. Climbing Jacob's ladder. Why? Why? Why should you die in the presence of grace like the fig tree? Dying in the presence of a Savior. Why? I've got a question. Why should you die in the presence of the Lord who saves by grace. Keep on, keep on climbing. We will make it. Keep on climbing. We will make it. So just soldiers of the of the. Now, let me do this. If you are here, uh, you are at college, you are not yet employed, you are saying, I want the Lord to give me a job in the future. I want God to give me employment. And after he gives me that employment, I, I want him to give me enough grace so that I will be eating with him. You are here. You want God to be the one to give you employment in the future. And you want a special prayer. You just stand up and, and come here so that we pray for you. You want the Lord to give you employment in the future. Stand we up. Come. And, and if you are here, Jacob God has given you a job. Ladder. And you want to dedicate your job are to him. You are saying, Lord, climbing. thank you. For giving me the Jacob job that I have, I dedicate back to you that I'll continue to eat with you. 
stand up and, 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 and walk forward. Jacob's Let's your prayer. Stand up and come forward. Soldiers of the you want to dedicate your job and employment to the Lord from today? Come for a special prayer of dedication. You want the Lord to give you a job in the future? Stand up and come forward for a very special prayer. Keep on, keep on climbing. We will make it. May God bless you. Keep on. May God bless you. Climbing. How to avoid breakfast and dinner scandals in Nairobi. Just come. Want to pray for you. Just come. Just come. Come and dedicate your job to the Lord. Just stand up quickly. Don't even waste time. Stand up and come. God loves you. Just come. Your Don't even waste time. Glory, I am giving you one minute. Shine, I'm giving you one minute. Give Come. God your glory, you want to dedicate glory, your job to the Lord. Come. Of the, of the cross. Every, every run goes ah, high. Mama, God bless you. And the job that God has given you. Every, every Stand up and come. You want to pray for the job that God has given you. You want the Lord to give you employment in the future. Every, you want to start eating with the Lord all the way through until history closes. Stand up and come. Ten seconds remaining. Come. Ten seconds remaining. Come. Seven seconds remaining, come. Soldiers of the Hosanna in the Heights. Three seconds remaining, stand up and walk. We want to pray. Soldiers of the As we pray, you are in the audience, and you are saying, Lord, protect my family so that no one will die on the spot without hope beyond the grave. May we be upstanding as we pray. Our loving Father, in a very special way, we want to thank you so much for the life of Martha and Mary, who decided to organize a very special dinner, and they ate with you. Hosanna in the highest. And we want to say sorry for the fig tree that died on the spot. When you were hungry, it failed to provide breakfast. Because that was a scandal of no little magnitude. Lord, here we are in front, in the domains of stewardship. Here we stand, and we are saying, give us employment. Bless our jobs. And this day forward, enable us to eat with you, and you eat with us. In singing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Increase our faith. Take care of our families this day forward. May we start giving to you your tithes and your offerings. Even every other coming month. Until history closes. Because we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
God bless you. May God give you employment. May God protect your employment this day forward.